Hello computators. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install SyncThing on your Windows computer. So you can start syncing your files between your other computers and your Android devices. So let's get started. Here's my Windows computer here and we'll visit Compute.org and click on the SyncThing cluster. Now if you don't want to pay for the full cluster which will automate the whole process on all the computers that you define. It's okay, you can visit the, the sample sync thing cluster summary and I've laid it all out here how you can install sync thing on uh, Ubuntu Linux computer and CentOS Linux computer and also on Windows. So go ahead and check that out. Um, I'm also going to show you how you can create an account and use your own design. So I'll log into my account and here's my SyncThing cluster. So right now it's empty, but we'll go and add a SyncThing computer. You can customize these parameters like your domain name. My domain is computate.org and we're going to use this SyncThing version here today. Uh, the rest of these don't really apply to Windows so we won't worry about those. But we'll go add a SyncThing computer and that'll pop up over here. So the important one here for Windows, we'll set the IP address. So we can find our IP address by pulling up a command prompt and typing IP config. And here we can see our IPv4 address is 192.168.122.43. So let's plug that in here. one nine two dot one six eight dot one two two dot forty three okay we'll change the operating system to windows thirty two bit which i'm using here all right so now we can check out our syncing cluster summary which is customized just for us and see how to install the SyncThing application. Okay, so first we'll start off by making this directory inside of program files. Now to do that, we're gonna wanna be administrator. So we'll run that as an administrator and paste that in. Okay. Now, the next step is to download this zip file. So we'll go to the browser and paste this in. And we're going to want to open that with Windows Explorer, which is fine. OK, now just open this directory up and select all these files with Control A, copy them with Control C, and then we're going to go to C colon program files sync thing and paste those in there. Continue. Okay, so we could take this executable and run it right here, but Let's make a shortcut instead on the desktop. And we're going to take that shortcut, cut it to the clipboard, and open up all programs, start up in Explorer, and paste a new shortcut in so that we would, when we log into the computer, 
it'll it'll run sync thing automatically so we got that there and now we're gonna want to run that okay sorry we'll go to all programs startup sync thing and run this for the first time and it pops up a browser with sync thing and there we go it's ready there's nothing to connect to yet but keep watching my videos and I'll show you we'll set up two other computers the Ubuntu computer and the CentOS computer and get these syncing together so stay tuned and we'll show you all the steps remember switch to Linux computate your way to success and life is terrific just enjoy it